Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. Good morning, a hot one on the way. Our record is 97 degrees. I'm going with 94, so at least a chance of tying or breaking that record. Let's take a look at some of the damage from last night's storms. Very impressive, numerous reports, and these are not even all of them showing up. The icons representing where the storm damage was. You could see this graphic right here representing some flooding. These tree and branch graphics representing where there was some wind damage. And TJ Del Santo getting some pictures of some tree damage in uh, West Warwick. And we can actually show you a little bit about this database. Basically, the uh, National Weather Service has an informal database where they collect this information and it helps them to assess storms and especially the damage from storms. And you could see wind damage showing up here in the Arctic section of West Warwick. That's where TJ got those pictures. And remember, it does not take a tornado to create a lot of bad damage. What likely happened is what we call straight line winds where the downdrafts from a thunderstorm slam into the ground, spread out and create a pretty big path of damage. So likely that's what happened from that storm last night. We right now are seeing these storms push away out to sea, but still some lightning over the past several hours from those storms. Speaking of storms, well, we have the potential of some of those, especially after 2 or 3 p.m. through about 8 or 9 this evening. Now, notice how the greens and yellows showing that these storms, if they do occur, occur, would be isolated, and the most likely threats would be hail, damaging winds, and of course the downpours and the lightning. So even though you don't have to cancel plans, and even though not everybody will see these storms, it is certainly something we need to pay attention to late this afternoon through this evening. And then as we go through Sunday, no issues with rain. In fact, the next chance of showers would be on Monday night into Tuesday morning. How about a heat wave? Well, likely we will get that today. That's because you need three days in a row of temperatures in the 90s. We had 90 on Thursday, 92 yesterday. My forecast for today is 94, so likely we will achieve that heat wave. Now we have blue skies being achieved over the hurricane barrier, and lots of people already gathering here at the coast. Even here at Narragansett Town Beach, it's going to be hot. Not quite as hot as inland spots, but when you get those winds coming in from the west, even the south shore really starts to heat up. 75 right now in Westerly, 73 Newport, 73 on Block Island. Dew points are still high, so we're still quite st uh, sticky with temperatures or dew points in the upper 60s to around 70, but these will be dropping a little bit into the afternoon, making things a little less humid. Those breezes, as I mentioned, coming in from the west, that's a land direction. And our storm today, or at least our potential storms, will not be like yesterday. Yesterday they came from the west. Today it will be coming from this line that will eventually sink down from the north, creating at least a little instability in the atmosphere and maybe a few of those pop-up showers and thunderstorms. Before that happens, quite hot, around 90 degrees at lunchtime with mostly sunny skies and then the chance of some of those afternoon storms. Here is your dew point future cast and even though we're sticky to start out the morning, back into the upper 50s to low 60s for dew points. That's a little more reasonable humidity wise, although when you get temperatures in the mid 90s, it's certainly not cool and refreshing. Your beach future cast for today, hot around 89 or 90 degrees, a moderate risk of rip current, so be mindful of that. For Governor's Bay Day tomorrow, where we have free beach parking, looking great, a little cooler temperatures in the mid 80s. Notice how I have the showers showing up on Monday. Hot again, though. 90 with a chance of some showers primarily Monday night into Tuesday morning. At least tomorrow afternoon, not quite that humid and temperatures a little cooler in the upper 80s. You can always get an updated future cast over on our website at WPRI.com. Now, 